coils are installed on in-ground pool installations. They're generally installed around the deep end or the deep end hopper of a swimming pool. Sometimes they're in the pool deck, like this one here. If that water level is high around a vinyl liner pool, you need to evacuate that water and keep it away from the backside of the liner or the pool. Otherwise, the liner can float and can also cause damage to the actual steel wall construction of the pool. Standing water back there is not good for the metal sheeting in the walls. The sump well should be monitored throughout the fall, in and around closing time, even after the pool is closed up until the snow actually falls and once the ground is frozen there's not a whole lot you can do for a sump well. In spring, once the snow melts and you get your spring thaw, then you're going to want to get back out there. Now that you have access again, you're want to going to want to get back out, have an eye at the water level in there, and if you need to, get your sump pump in there and get that draining. Well, in order to drain the sump well, you're going to have to have a sump pump that can fit down inside the diameter of the hole. You attach your garden hose onto it and then you run that out whether it's into a drain down the side of your house or out to the road um, because you need somewhere for the water to trickle drain out to. Um, I'm going to take a walk down the hose and make sure that the water is actually draining where I want it to drain um, and then you can basically leave this for a few hours and come back and check on it periodically. The best indicator to know when the sump well is done draining is actually an audible thing that can sound similar to a soda straw. If you hear that, come over and have a look. If you don't see any more water coming into the sump well, um, then you should be okay to shut that off. Um, different styles of sump wells that they actually have. This one, you plug it in, it's on. You unplug it, it's off. There are bobber styles similar to the back of a toilet mechanism where the water level rises, the mechanism comes up, pump engages, and it drains it back down and shuts off by itself.